Hello, it's Leslie Fightmaster, and welcome back to day eight. I hope that you enjoyed your first week. So we're going to start in child's pose. Let your head rest on your hands, or you can rest your head on the ground, on, the, on your mat, or on a block. And I do recommend yoga blocks and a strap if you have them. Now bring your arms next to your sides and just start to take some longer breaths. Remember, we always want to come back to our breath. So as you're breathing here, just imagine how the breath is expanding in the body and then how the body contracts with the exhale. And set an intention for your practice if you wish. We'll inhale and extend the arms forward and spread the fingers wide and come up onto the knees. And then tuck your toes under and make your way into downward facing dog. Then start to stretch out through the right leg and then the left so we're bicycling the legs. Now be sure to spread the fingers nice and wide, pressing down into the base of the fingers. Now bend both knees, stretch out the spine, and then straighten the legs any amount. The arms are shoulders distance apart, the feet are hips width. Now remember always you can take a break anytime. Inhale, come forward into plank pose. Plank is the top of a push up. Now take the knees to the floor. If you'd like, you can keep them off the floor and then lift back into down dog. So plank pose is a very strengthening posture, but it's difficult. So you can have your knees down when you practice it. And then let's take our knees down back into child's pose. So I was mentioning that you may rest at any time and child's pose is a nice pose to take a rest. Come up onto the knees again, tuck your toes, lift up and back for downward dog. You'll straighten the legs if you can, but if you need a bend in the knees, that's fine. We'd rather see length in the spine. And then inhaling forward into plank, lift the backs of the knees up, lengthen the tailbone toward the heels, pull in through the belly. Feel free to take the knees down. Exhale, lift back again, downward dog. And then come back down to the knees and take another child's pose. So we're adding our plank pose today. And plank pose is a wonderful strengthening pose for the, all the core muscles. Back up onto the knees, and then this time shift forward and lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale, cobra, hands are by low ribs. Press all the toenails into the floor, keep the belly pulled in, and then exhale, press back to the knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips back into downward dog. Arms are shoulders distance, feet are hips width, arms and ears are in line. And then back to the knees, child's pose. Moving through these postures, it's a nice way just to warm up our bodies. Back up onto the knees, shift forward about an inch, lower all the way down to the belly, and then inhale coming up into a cobra. Heart forward, widening the collarbones. Exhale, press up onto the knees, tuck the toes, downward dog. Good. Stretching back here again. And pull up on the kneecaps, firm the leg muscles if your legs are straight. Then look forward and bend the knees. Step your feet forward. Take an inhale, come halfway up and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward any amount, bending knees as needed. Inhale, press through the feet, rise up on the inhale. Exhale to Samastitihi. to the front of the mat, finding Tadasana pose. Big toes together or feet hips width. Lift the chest, draw the shoulder blades away from the ears. Tailbone is lengthening toward heels and keep the belly pulled in. Inhale, sweep the arms out, around and up. And so watch that you're not overarching the back or sticking the ribs out. 
and be sure to bring the arms in front of you or arms wider if you have tight shoulders. Exhale, fold forward. If you have a block, you can put your hands on the block. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, and come into plank. We're holding plank here. Knees can be up or down. Lower slowly to the belly. On the inhale, coming up. Up dog, lower high. High up dog if it's okay in your back. Exhale, stretch into down dog. Arms and ears are in line. Find a spot to focus on between the ankles or the knees. And that'll help to keep the focus. Bend the knees, look up. Step your feet forward on your inhale. Come halfway up. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Inhale, press with the feet. Reach all the way up. Exhale, the hands to heart. Samastitihi. And again, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips to fold. Hips go back as you come forward. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, back into plank. And then lower all the way down to the belly. Knees can be up or down. Again, cobra on the inhale. Or upward dog. Thighs and knees are off the floor if you're an upward dog. And then exhale, tuck the toes. Make your way back into down dog. Breathing here. We had a little doggy come and visit. Look forward, either step or hop your feet up. As you inhale, lengthen. On the exhale, fold forward. Press down through the feet and rise up, inhaling. And exhale to samastitihi, steady balance. So turn to the long side of your mat. Step your feet out nice and wide. Turn your right leg all the way out, the back toes in a little. Line up the front heel and the back arch. You can inhale, the arms reach. Exhale, bend the right knee over the ankle. Keep the back arm as high as the front arm and the knee pointed straight over the middle toes. Lifting through the lower belly as you breathe. Then inhale, straighten the right leg. Take your arms up. And now exhale, bend the knee. Take your arms back out to, the, to a T-shape. Press the back thigh back, lifting up through the back inner thigh. Inhale, straighten the leg, arms reach. Exhale, back into warrior two. The front heel is pressing down and press through the outer edge of the back foot. Inhale again, straighten the leg, arms reach. Exhale, bend the knee into warrior two. Now this time, lean forward over that leg. I'm sorry, we're not going to lean forward over that leg. We're going to lean the other leg. Reverse your warrior. So the left hand comes down. Now keep reversing straight in the right leg and come up on your inhale. Shift your hips back, lean as far forward as you can, bring your right hand down, left arm up. The right hand anywhere it lands. Could be the floor, a block, could be your leg, anywhere at all. And this is triangle pose. Inhale, reach your left arm forward in line with your ear. And exhale, take it Oh, behind your back. So either going to keep it at the low back or some of you might be able to reach around, hook it onto the right thigh. Either way, roll the top shoulder back. And then looking down, inhale to come up. We'll take the feet to parallel and now turn the left leg all the way out and the back toes in slightly. Lined up again, heel to arch. Exhale, down and bending the front knee for warrior two. Keep dropping through the front hip. And lifting the back inner thigh. So we, instead of leaning forward, we want to make sure our shoulders stay right above our hips. Leaning forward, I see sometimes it's a common, common thing that happens. So inhale, straighten the leg, arms reach. Exhale, bend into warrior two. Knee over ankle, very important. Inhale, reach up, straightening the leg. Exhale, bend the knee, maybe sink in a little more, but keep the knee right over the ankle, not going past it. Inhale again, stretch up, straighten the leg, and exhale to bend the knee. And we'll hold here, dropping the right arm to reverse, 
bend into the left knee. Now keep reversing straight in that left leg. It's a bigger stretch on the side. Inhale to come up, setting for triangle pose. Shift your hips back, lean as far forward as you can. Take the left hand down, right arm up. That left hand can come anywhere it feels comfortable. The shin, the foot, on the pinky toe side, the foot on the floor or a block. Bring your bottom ribs forward and spin the top ribs back. Exhale the right arm in line with the right ear. And now sweep it down and bring it behind you to the low back or you might be able to reach around and hook it onto the left thigh. Either way, roll the top shoulder back. Keep pressing weight into the base of the big toe of your left foot and then look down to come up on the inhale. Let's bring the feet to parallel, either heel toe or hop your feet together and then make your way back to the front of your mat. Inhale, circle the arms out, around and up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging from the hips. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Knees up or down, we're gonna lower again all the way to the belly. Inhale, cobra pose, low or high. And then exhale to the knees and tuck the toes back into downward dog. So again, if you'd like a rest, you can always take the knees down rest. Otherwise, lift the right leg up on your inhale. Exhale, step it between the hands. If it doesn't make it, pick it up and put it forward. So lift it high, swing it forward. And take the left knee down and pull the right hip back for low lunge. Pat up the left knee if it needs any padding. And then inhale, reach up through the arms. Tailbones lengthening down, the hip points lift up. Spin the triceps forward. As you exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest, and then inhale, sweep the arms around, reach up. Exhale, palms face forward, bend the elbows like you're moving through water. Inhale, sweep the arms up, face the palms forward, exhale, open up the chest. And now take the hands down and step back into plank. Lower all the way to the belly, knees can be up or down. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. And then exhale back into down dog. Left leg up on the inhale from the inner thigh it lifts. So step it forward between the hands. If it doesn't make it there, just use your left hand to pick it up and put it by the left, by the left hand for the mat. Take the right knee to the floor. Make sure the left knee is over the ankle. And then reach up. Pull the left hip back as you sink forward. Lift the ribs, draw them in. So what we don't want to see is we don't want the knee to go past the ankle. So be sure that your knee is above the ankle. Then point that knee straight ahead over the middle toes. And now exhale. We're going to scrape the elbows on a imaginary back wall. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms face front. Opening the chest, bending the elbows. Inhale again, reach. Exhale, open up through the chest. And then hands down, we'll step back into downward facing dog. If you'd love to take a vinyasa and go to plank and lower through chaturanga, up dog on the inhale, down dog on the exhale, feel free to add it. And now we'll come through and sit all the way down. And onto our backs. If you have a strap, get it handy. And you can always use a belt or a tie or a towel. If you have a block, also get that ha handy. And we're gonna put the block between the inner thighs and give it a nice, nice gentle squeeze. And then inhale to come into bridge pose. Roll the shoulders under and point the fingertips up like I have my elbows bent, or you can keep the arms straight by your sides or interlace the fingers. Keep the chin away from the chest and then exhale, lower it back down and rest a moment. If you have that block, just keep it between the thighs. Make sure that your heels are staying underneath your knees. Now grab the sides of your mat, come on up again, and with your hands grabbing the sides of your mat, imagine you can pull the mat into right down the middle in half. So we're trying to pull the arms out. 
and that'll widen the chest. And then come on down and release the block, hugging your knees into your chest, gently rock yourself side to side, make little circles on your lower back, give it a massage, then keep your right knee hugging in and extend your left leg out. Exhale, take the right knee over to the left side for a twist. Look over your right shoulder, unless it bothers your neck. In that case, just look straight up. Come back to center, draw the left knee and extend the right leg out. And now we'll take the left leg across for the twist. Look over the left shoulder, again, unless it bothers your neck. And take some long breaths here in your twist. And then back to center. Hug the knees in, and now we'll straighten out the legs, making our way into Shavasana. Take a few moments to get comfortable. Feet hips width are wider. Let the toes turn out. Arms away from the body, palms facing up. And now just come into natural breathing and let everything completely relax. And as you're resting, I have our quote for today from a book called Seven, How Many Days of the Week Can Be Extraordinary. We make time for work and other obligations, and that's important. But we forget sometimes that life is not just an obligation, it is an adventure. Start to make some movements to Reawaken your body, move your hands and your feet, stretch through your arms and your legs. And then bend the knees, roll yourself off to your right side. And then with the left hand, slowly press yourself up in seated position, cross at the shins. And we'll bring the hands together, palms touching. And the hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Our hands to the heart to remind us to have clear and loving intentions. Our hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communication. Sending out wonderful energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. Don't forget to push the subscribe button and leave us a comment. Tell your friends about this 30-day challenge for beginners. And also, please visit fightmasteryoga.com. If you'd like to support us with a donation, there is a donation button there or there's a link below. And if you shop on Amazon, on our website, we have an Amazon banner. If you click it and just go through there, it doesn't cost you anything more, but it does help to support us as well. So I really, really appreciate you coming and I want you to have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.